Yesterday on Red Dead Daily, we covered the all-new combat system in the game. But, in order to maximize everything you can get out of Arthur and his weapons, you're going to want to upgrade all of your gear. This is where the gunsmith and weapon customization comes into play. As you should know by now, Red Dead Redemption 2 offers some light RPG elements for pretty much everything in the game, and weapons are no exception. Each weapon will have its own set of unique stats that you can level up with the gunsmith. Just about everything I'm going to cover in this video takes place while communicating with your gunsmith, so he's going to become your best friend really quick. There are six main stats for each weapon that you need to worry about in Red Dead Redemption 2. Damage, range, fire rate, reload, accuracy, and condition. Now, most of these are pretty straightforward, but that last one, condition, most likely refers to the weapon degradation I spoke about in yesterday's video. Each of these stats starts at zero and can be upgraded all the way up to four. There will be no shortage of different weapons you could use in this game, so you can imagine just how much weapon customization is going to go on as you spend more time with the game. Oh, but there's more. So much more. You could purchase special gear from the gunsmith to add yet another layer of customization to each weapon. From the hands-on impressions, we know you can purchase special ammo, holsters, barrels, scopes, grips, and hammers for each gun. Once equipped, your weapon will be modified separately from the 0 to 4 scale that I mentioned earlier. So for instance, if you have a level 4 damage, for example, on one gun, but you buy special ammo that increases damage by 50%, it doesn't hit any ceiling you will be exceeding the maximum at that point. Again, out of the preview impressions, we were able to get details on three specific gear upgrades. So just to get an idea of what to expect, here they are. First, we have the Bandolier, which increases the ammo capacity for long arm weapons by 50%. We also have the Gun Bolt, which increases base ammo for sidearms by 50%. And finally, we heard about the Holster, which slows degradation of all weapons by 20%. If you effectively upgrade your weapons and gear throughout the course of the game, you will probably be able to conquer any challenge with relative ease. And don't forget, you can do all of this stuff I just mentioned for members of your gang as well. Additionally, you can add custom engravings on any weapon. These probably won't affect performance in any way and are strictly cosmetic, but hey, looking cool is probably the most important thing of all, let's be honest. So that's about it for today. I look forward to pimping out my revolver and hopefully not having to worry too much about weapon degradation when playing the final game. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel because I will have a new Red Dead Redemption 2 video out tomorrow and every day leading up to the game's launch. Thanks so much for watching everyone and take care.